if you grew up learning one thing and you come to, to the realization or you come to understand and find out that everything you grew up learning or knowing was a lie due to you being exposed to the truth of the world, when you want to unlearn everything that you previously known, especially if you a hurt person and you've been maneuvering through life with a certain attitude or a certain mentality, getting certain results, like all your life, you feel what I'm saying? And come to find out, motherfuckers been lying to you all your life. I, you know, don't, I feel like that's my situation. So I feel like, you know, taking back my mind. Fully understanding who I am. Uh, finding out what I haven't. Learning about everything I was not taught. Was not told. You feel what I'm saying? I strive to take back my mind. Because you know. As a 30 year old woman. Who has bore life to two children. And raising them. And raising them. In a state of mind. That was dead. I had a dead mentality. When I was young or when I was just when I was out there when I was having children I had children at 18 and 19 and I was dead I didn't know half of the stuff that I just recently have found out over like the past year and a half or two so I'm handling you know I'm handling the fact that I was lost and I'm striving to become righteous because I was living in a low state of nature. You feel what I'm saying? I was not vibrating at my highest mentality that I'm capable of naturally. I was not aware of my seven chakras. I was not aware of my God self. I was not aware of scientific things like the fact that, you know, all the races come from melanated people was grafted from black people like we the original people of the world i did not know these things i look out into the society and the world that i live in and i do not see these things i see so many you know the state of the black family is it is lowest you know what i'm saying and it's crazy because everybody say, oh, we free and this, that, and the third. And when we was in captivity, I mean, literally the same things that they were forcing upon us to do in captivity, we out here calling ourselves free and being able to maneuver and do what we want and think and speak of freedom of speech and all this. But we are here doing the same exact things that they were forcing upon us in captivity. And a lot of us is blind to that fact. A lot of us are unaware of our God state. We think of ourselves, because we operate in a low nature, we think of ourselves as bitches and hoes, niggas and all this. Now, when I found out that I was a queen and that I was a goddess and I'm original inhabitant of this world and about my melanin and uh, the way, the, the proper way to eat, the proper way to take care of my body, man, ain't no more convincing me. You don't have to convince me no more because I see who I am. I did not know I had a spirit and I was a light entity in a physical body, a temporary physical body at that. So this is for all you people who be like, what is, what's up with that girl? Why she always talking about religions made up? It's man-made and she a goddess and she called refer to people black men and black women as gods and goddesses and kings and queens and she talking about ain't no god up in the sky no ain't no invisible god up in the sky ain't no invisible god up in the sky that shit is all for boo boo the fool and baby it's 2016 ain't no damn boo boo fool ain't no boo boo the fool you could be boo boo the fool if you want to we see how far they get you. Your mind state. Remember that.